This job always allows us the opportunity to meet any number of people who are newsmakers in many different ways. Such was the case for News Channel 5's Jim Sackett recently meeting a woman who has had a love affair with an iconic American organization. For more than five decades, Helen Adler has certainly been making a difference for so many children. Nineteen forty five. Harry Truman was president, World War Two had just ended, and this was NBC's first logo. That same year, another milestone. Helen Adler started her fifty plus year journey with the four H program, joining when she was ten in New York, starting clubs when she was eighteen, bringing her four H experience to West Palm Beach in nineteen fifty seven, raising a family, and starting her first club here in nineteen sixty two. And Emily? You want to get yours? You can start sewing. Get your pillowcase. Fifty years on, the children still come to her house. She still teaches. They still listen and learn. Well, we're doing sewing right now, learning the sewing machine, how to sew, making the tote bags, and then they'll be making a little uh, garment for themselves. And then we also do woodworking, the simple woodworking, like a little bench or key holders, things like that. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And pledging to make their communities and the world better places, the core of 4-H. It's what keeps Helen Adler going, passing on her knowledge to another generation. It's what got her involved in New York all those years ago. Where have the 50 years gone? I don't know. <laughs> Gray hair. <laughs> If you could, you'd do it another 50. I certainly would. I certainly would. And just a few years ago, to honor Helen Adler and her contributions over the years, she was part of the first group inducted into the Florida 4-H Hall of Fame. If you are interested in having your children join or would like more information about 4-H, you can call area code 561-233-1731. And as part of full disclosure, I will tell you that my son and daughter were also in 4-H and they were taught by Helen Adler. And you know, in this high-tech world, when everything is about a, a gadget or a gizmo, it's, it's really neat yes. to see that they're learning to sew and the woodworking and all of the other things. Well, she did mention yeah. that uh, given the fact of today's you know, day and age, right. there are subjects that, that uh, allow students to learn about computers and everything else that right. is involved today. But the basics are yeah, still there. the basics are there. I love that. Nice lady. That's great. Great family. Touching so many people. Thanks a lot, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it.